we uh, we just tried to spread the floor, keep balanced floor with two guys on each side, with a guy in the middle, so they had to respect the middle guy, and then it's just the guys making the proper pass. Um, noticed in the fourth quarter when they made a little bit of a run, we really got tight, we stopped throwing those crisp skip, pa uh, skip passes and and, uh, and pass faking. So uh, when we get into a nice little rhythm where guys are open, and then obviously you have guys that can make shots, they uh, you know they made shots today, and it made a big difference. Are there any drills that you guys can practice that work on? That? Really working around the perimeter. To be honest, it's guys who have done this for the last couple of years, and it's, it's a luxury of having good basketball players. We, uh, I mean, we do we do certain offensive sets and drills that we try to do to put the kids in position, and then it's a matter of them making the right play to the right decision. If you notice, a couple of times we threw the skip pass for a shot, and a couple of times we actually threw the ball inside to the pass outside. That's just kids making basketball plays. Offense seemed to run a little smoother, especially in the second half when Brennan was able to get back in. It was. I mean, he's a, he's a unique player. Player who, uh, who offers a lot of, um, he's a tough matchup because he's a bigger kid who can pass the ball so well. And uh, and when he was in there, he could be able to di distribute the basketball a little bit. So we got to try to find a way. He's played three, four games now. He's been in trouble, foul trouble all four. So hopefully I can start getting his uh, defensive mind in the same set as his offensive mind because if that was the case, he's, he's a good basketball player. Right. Exactly what you saw. He's got, you know, he's got to step up and, and uh, knock down shots and, uh, and be ready to be a basketball player and make some plays for his teammates. And uh, tonight he shot the ball pretty well. Uh, we're hoping in the next couple of weeks, as he gets out of the, the sophomore, um, the sophomore mode, that he gets into uh, making some plays for his, some of his teammates. But his shooting ability is off the charts, and uh, defensively he's playing outstanding as well. So it gives us a nice little combination when when he comes on the floor that he, we don't lose anything defensively and offensively. We actually gain. Well, can you talk a little bit about what you guys maybe either changed up or what just started working better as you guys started to extend the lead a little bit? It was a close game early on, and then you guys really started pulling I really think it had to do with uh, the... Um, during this segment where we kind of went on a little bit of a run, we started to move the ball with more efficiency, uh, getting it to the right guys, uh, putting them in awkward positions by pass making. And um, I think it really was just a matter of trying to get in the flow. That's an extremely quick team and an aggressive team. And uh, it took us a little while to get used to that and realizing that you still can use the dribble or you can still pass fake and you can slow down a little bit. You don't have to play at the same speed they are. And, uh, and it, I think we ended up getting the ball in the right places and the right people. And, uh, and then, you know, clearly when you can knock down threes the way that we did tonight, it helps. And kind of to follow up then, I'm sorry if you already went over this, but can you talk about Bolter's contribution tonight? I think he had, six? Uh, I, I believe, yeah, five or six, something like that. He, um, six. So he, uh, I mean, he's, he's, I mean, he's an unbelievable shooter who, uh, coming in the start of the season, we talked to him about he had to do other things to, to keep himself on the floor. Defensively, he's doing that. Offensively, he's getting a nice little rhythm. He's not pushing shots or forcing shots. Uh, and he's letting the game come to him. Uh, now we're just hoping that he, uh, he starts to complement that with putting the ball on the, on the deck a little bit. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's, he's, he's an exciting player because he, he changes the way your team can play and the way other teams have to defend him. Just talk real quick about Romanco, I'm sorry. Yep, no, no, same question. Romanco too, just go ahead. You know, Romanco started the season um, kind of with too much pressure. You know, he, was, he really struggled the first three games and he was struggling because he was putting too much pressure on himself. And we said to him, Tonight, just play. You know, go back to being a basic basketball player and go out and play. And he played great. He's leading our team in rebounding. He's uh, he's leading our team in block shots. He's defensively, he's playing tremendous. So he's doing everything we're asking him to. He's struggling because of his shots not, but he doesn't realize how much he's helping us on the other end. And tonight, he finally got in a little bit of rhythm scoring, and it's uh, made a big difference.